So now you've gone to these three, or you, you've got three appointments scheduled. Now, you've already given us some great things to look at and be on the, the, the lookout for on the experience. So now we've already got a more educated patient that's walking through that door. Uh, they now sit down with the, the part of uh, where you were saying someone in the practice needs to have the conversation with them about what their objectives, their main objectives are, yes? Correct. What are the top five questions you should ask? I don't know if it'd be that person or the clinician. Let's just go with the clinician. Clinician comes in the room. What are the top five? You already know. You already know. Would you want to validate those questions that you already asked over the phone to see oh, if the you, questions you those align? Are, are the those answers are, align? Yeah, all of those things that I mentioned before, those are, are what I call objective questions. In other words, they're factual based questions. How much training? How many hours? How many units have you placed? Those are just fact based, they're objective questions. Once I get face to face with the team and the dentist, I'm going to ask subjective questions. Okay. Walk me through them. Those subjective questions are when I, when I tell them what I'm looking for, mm -hmm. then when I ask them questions like, can you share with me some experiences of other patients who have been looking for this outcome? Tell me about their experience. And if their if their answers are vague, then that would create a little bit of a question mark for me because mm. then I'd say, how really plugged in are they to their patients and what they really want? Versus mm. if they said, you know, Matt, last month we had a patient who, who came to us for the same reasons you did. They wanted the peace of mind of knowing they were making the right decision for work that was going to last, that they didn't have to worry about, and we give them the self-confidence that they could go out and smile big, and not have to worry about what people were seeing. No. That's what they wanted, just like what you said. Now, here's what they've experienced after they had the procedure. This is what they told us, right? That's the kind of conversation versus a clinician who says, oh, you'll love it. You know, all of our patients have a great experience. You know, it's vague and general, just kind of once over lightly. I want somebody who's plugged into the human side of what the work does for people not just the work itself.